Before starting this tutorial, I just want to remind you guys of something. Recently, I made a video reviewing a PowerPoint add-in called Power User. In that same video, I mentioned that each license is worth $220. And guess what? I was given 50 to give out for free. I will select 10 lucky winners each week for five weeks. So far, 30 people have won the license, which means 20 are left. If you want to win one, all you have to do is sign up to the SlideCal mailing list using the link below. And hey, I'll even throw in this tip of the iceberg slide template for free. If you want to learn more about the Power User add-in, just click on the info button on the top right. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCal. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. This week's video is going to be a short tip, but I hope it will be helpful short tip. We're going to configure our PowerPoint software to only make high resolution images. High resolution what now? I'm going to show you exactly what the problem is. Say that you have this beautiful slide in front of you and you want to make this slide for an infographic or for a poster, or maybe you just want to send the slide to a colleague, but you don't want him to have the ability to copy or paste the text. So you just want to send it through an image file, whatever it might be, it's up to you. You want to go to file and then you want to go to save as, and then you just click on this little arrow box over here. And um, you click on, let's say JPEG or PNG or whatever, right? Click on save and then you're presented with two options, whether you want to save all your uh, slides as images or just this one as an image, right? I'm just gonna click on just this one because it's just one slide really. So let's open up the image now. All right, so we can immediately see what the problem is. The image is too low of a resolution. And how can we verify that? When we zoom into the image itself, we can see different effects that make it look like such a low resolution image. For example, we can see jagged edges around the outline of the image itself. We can see pixelations and little blurs around the image itself over here. And we can also see the little blur and pixelations just around the uh, text over here. It makes the slide look very unprofessional and uh, let's say very low quality. Why though? It's because your PowerPoint software exports images at 96 dots per inch or DPI. This leads to low resolution images like 960 by 720 or 1280 by 720. Okay, so what are we changing? We are going to configure PowerPoint to export images at a 300 DPI scale. By doing this, we're going to get images at 3000 by 2250 and 4000 by 2250 resolutions. All right, so what are the steps? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is that we're just going to shut off PowerPoint. And this is to make sure that all the settings we're about to change will take effect when we open up PowerPoint in the future. Uh, the second thing we're going to do is we're gonna open up something called the Windows Registry Editor, right? Now, a lot of you are very technical and know what that is, but a lot of you aren't, so don't worry. You don't need to know exactly what that is, you just need to know how to open it. If you are on Windows 10, follow these steps. Go over here, open up the uh, Windows button over here, and just basically type in regedit.exe and open up the first piece of software that you see over there. Click on yes. Now, if you're on earlier versions of Windows, don't worry too much. All you have to do really is follow similar steps. So um, some of you might have to go to the start button over here and click on run and type in regedit.exe and the same thing will open. And uh, others of you will just have to follow my steps. Windows 8, for example, I know have similar steps to Windows 10 so a piece, uh, machine. So it's not really that big of a deal. Don't worry about that. If you're having any issues, please contact me. I'll be happy to help you. So um, moving forward, I'm just going to uh, show you what we have over here. We have five different folders. Some of you might have more, some of you have less, so don't even worry about that. What you're going to do now is that you're going to follow exactly what I'm about to open and what I'm about to change, right? Exactly what I'm about to tell you. So go to H key current user and open up that folder chain over here, right? And then the second thing we're going to do is open up the software folder. And then we're going to go to Microsoft, which is just over here and then office which is just over here and then this is where it gets interesting right depending on the version of powerpoint that you have you might have to open up a different folder 
So for example, for me, I have Microsoft PowerPoint 2016, which means I'm gonna be using this one, which is the 16.0 folder. If you have the Microsoft PowerPoint 2013 version, open up the 15.0 folder. If you have the Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 version, open up the 14.0 folder. If you have Microsoft PowerPoint 2007, open up the 12.0 folder. And if you have Microsoft PowerPoint 2003, please stop living under a rock and upgrade your software. Also, open up the 11.0 folder. So like I said, I'm on Microsoft PowerPoint 2016. I'm gonna open up my 16.0 folder, which is just over here. And then I'm gonna open up the PowerPoint folder, obviously. And then I'm going to open up the options folder. Now there's no uh, arrow that points downwards with the options folder. Just click on the options folder itself, right? Okay, now please follow exactly what I'm about to do. Go to edit, go to new, and then click on the D word 32 bit value. Do not open up the 64 bit keyword, just the D word 32 bit value. Open that up and then type in export bitmap resolution, all right? I'm even going to make a page just for that word alone. Here you go. That's exactly what you have to type. Press enter and open it up by double clicking it. Change the base to decimal and then change the value data to 300 and press on enter. All right, that is literally all you have to do. So let's check if it works now. Let's go back to our previous slide, which is just this one. Now remember, this was our older image, which is, uh, which is the test light image. And if you zoom in, you can see all the jagged images, all the, all the pixelated effects around the place and stuff. This is the bad image, right? So let's delete that and make a brand new image. Click on save, just this one. And boom, look at that. Already you can see it is much more cleaner to the eye. Already you can see that there is no pixelation. Already you can see that the image itself is larger and much more clear. We have a high resolution image. That's all this week. Next week, we're gonna get back into some more fun tutorials. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.